Welcome to a lesson in which we'll model addition of three-digit whole numbers using base 10 blocks. So to begin, let's consider the sum of 254 and 249. Notice for 254, we have two 100 blocks, five 10 blocks, and four 1 blocks. And for 249, we have two 100 blocks, four 10 blocks, and nine 1 blocks. We begin by adding the one's place value, or the one blocks. Notice four plus nine is equal to 13, which we can see if we add the one blocks. But whenever the sum is 10 or more, we'll have to perform an exchange for our 10 block. So because we have 13 blocks here, which we can represent using one 10 block and three one blocks, we'll carry one 10 block to the tens place value over here. Notice how on paper, we put a three in the ones place value for the remaining one blocks. We put an extra one here in the tens place value because of the extra 10 block. And now when we combine the 10 blocks or add the tens place value, notice how we have one plus five plus four, which would be equal to 10. So if we combine these 10 blocks, we'll have a total of 10 10 blocks. but 10 tens is equal to 100. So because the sum of this place value is 10 or more, we'll have to perform another exchange. Again, 10 10 blocks is equal to one 100 block. So we'll carry this 100 block over to the 100's place value. Notice how on paper, because we had 10 10 blocks, we put a zero in the tens place value and then an extra one in the 100's place value because of the extra 100 block. And now we find the sum of the hundreds place value, or the sum of the 100 blocks. We have one plus two plus two, which is equal to five. So we have a five in the hundreds place value, which again we can see by combining all of the 100 blocks. So we have one, two, three, four, five 100 blocks. So because we have five 100 blocks and three one blocks, this verifies our sum is 503. Let's take a look at a second example. Here we have 342 plus 389. And again, we can see here's the model for 342, and here's the model for 389. We start by adding the one's place value, or combining the one blocks. Nine plus two is equal to 11. And again, because this sum is greater than or equal to 10, we'll have to perform an exchange using a 10 block. So nine plus two is equal to 11, which gives us one 10 block and one one block. So now we'll move the 10 block over to the tens place value. Again, on paper, we have a one in the ones place value and an extra one in the tens place value. And now we'll add the 10 blocks, or the tens place value. One plus four plus eight is equal to 13. So if we combine the 10 blocks, we'll have a total of 13 10 blocks. It's getting a little crowded here. Because we have 10 or more 10 blocks, we can make an exchange with a 100 block. Again, we have 13 10 blocks here, which we'll see makes one 100 block and three 10 blocks. So now we'll move the 100 block over to the hundreds place value here. Again, on paper, we have three 10 blocks. So we have a three in the tens place value. We put an extra one in the hundreds place value. And now adding the hundreds place value, we have one plus three plus three, which equals seven, giving us a sum of 731. And if we combine the 100 blocks, let's organize this a little bit. We have three, four, five, six, seven 100 blocks. And therefore we have a sum of 730. One. Okay, I hope you found these two examples helpful.